we just loaded the data into a variable called a and for the for application of this maintaining the only unique data we applied the distinct built-in operation yes we got the complete data a b altered with the only unique values now check it out i want to group by with respect to the gender group by by gender and earlier what was the error is c here we have to specify we have to from where i need to get the marks for that purpose itself i am specifying b dot marks if you specify a dot marks means it will get the from the a load which is a which is a uh, variable which holds the duplicates also but here i want only unique data for that purpose itself i want to get the marks from b b dot marks let's check it out d is also done now i want the complete functionality what we are expecting is i want to find the summation of all individual marks whose groups are male and female now i am expecting my, my error output is for male what is the output of all the male candidates some all of uh, sum of all marks of individual group for female also i need as the gender is female and marks how um, what is the summation of all marks yes done female 130 male 154 here if you summation of if you sum the all the those means you can easily get that exact things we have two block two groups like one is female one is male if you if you add the both individual marks of female candidates i got 130 if you add both individual marks as of male candidates is 154 fine like this we can achieve the group by let's revise this group by syntax it is very very useful in the production environments try to capture fine most of the times we don't know we cannot know whether the data is holds the duplication or not for that purpose self, obviously we are performing the distinct try to eliminating the duplicates whether it how it holds or not but rather than this we are performing the distinct then after executing this we have to perform the group by group b by based on the gender and we are fetching the things like this itself as the group by syntax we have one more transformation is also there that is co-group if you want to execute co-group that it is the very similar to the group by only the advantage the output let's check it out until now we have done with the everything will be in a interactive mode meanwhile we are executing commands one by one let's do all these things in here one single script how to create a single script means just create a one p command that is script one dot p if you want to implement the pig script means we have to keep the extension is dot pig whether it holds or not sorry i am executing all these things commands in grunt shell yeah, as you people know that we have to it is a pig transformation pig environment we have to get from this and now check it out sorry we have to keep pig fine i want to paste all these things this is what the exact data right see previously till now we directly execute the commands one by one but now what i am trying to do is i directly i just want to directly execute the all the commands at a time by using script pig scripts this is what we you are the we are taking the pig scripts instead of doing every time as the manually interactive mode we have to we are always it is preferable to execute a pig transformations in a script mode okay we already seen the group by output let's check the co-group output we have co-group is also a 
built-in transformation. What is the advantage? Let's check it out. The syntax is like this only: co-group element attribute by condition. What is the condition column? Here the condition column is gender. Based on the gender only, we want to make use. Okay, let's execute this. Then I will tell you the importance of co-group rather than group by. Cat script one dot p. Yes, good. I have the content. Very good. Much of syntax is there. Now directly I want to execute a pick script. How we can execute the pick scripts? In the pick scripts, if you want to execute, means if you normally if you are executing these things in a local mode. Actually, this pick pick by p dot txt is in a local mode. For that purpose itself, we have to execute a script in local mode. The execution of pick script is pick hyphen x hyphen sorry local. If you keep enter means I am going to the grunt shell, but we cannot go to the grunt grunt shell. Grunt shell is very interactive for pick commands, pick environment. But I am executing the, all the commands in a single script itself. For this directly you can give the pick hyphen x local script file name. S R I P T one dot P I G. Script one dot pick. This was the execution of a pick script in a local mode, especially. If you capture the both the outputs of group by and co-group, both are given the same result. Then what is the advantage? Means group group will give the higher optimization and higher performance with respect to the group by with whenever we are dealing with the large amount of data. That is what the advantage of co-group and group by. Group by now both the perform both the things will be give the same output and same purpose. Fun, but the thing is. Co group will achieve the higher performance with respect to the higher amount of data. Here we got the output, and we are executing the commands in a script mode. We are not executing the commands in a grunt shell. We are executing the modes in a script mode. Check it out. This is what I am doing. Fine. If you want to execute a script in a HDFS mode or MapReduce mode. How we can do it? First of all, we have to copy the data into a HDFS mode. Let's figure out how to execute the things. First of all, we have to copy the data. What is the file name? Script one dot p into the Hadoop directory. The Hadoop directory is p i p. For better for checking things, let's see the content. Yes, we got successfully copied the content, and the content is also same as we expected. And check it out. If you want to perform this, we already copied the contents to another pick into a HDFS. Now we want to execute this script in a HDFS mode. Means simply type pig space script one dot pig. No need to use hyphen x HDFS or all these things. Pig space script one dot pig. Now the file is in HDFS. Fine. Yes. Why we got the null? Here, check it out. The output is null null. Why we got the null? Can anyone? Here, check it out. If you try to read the content, we are giving the file location as LFS, and we are executing a mode in a HDFS. We have to change this. Nano pick ip dot txt. No script one one dot pig. The input location is the input file path is pig 
ip slash pip dot txt pip ip dot pip ip slash pip ip dot txt now same thing we can do it if you want to copy means we already copy the we already there the scripted one dot the pig is already there in the hadoop file system try to remove it hadoop fs remember all these commands remove pig ip slash script one dot pig it is already there with the world content i want to try to remove it yes we deleted that and now again we have to put it in. try to read now we have hdfs path only in the hdfs directory directly we want to execute with the pig hdfs mode pig space don't directly i am giving that pig space script one dot pig now i am doing this execution in a map reduce mode You can check the status 83 percent 75 like this we had 100 percent this is same performance same output right with respect to the co group and group by and co group is specifically for with respect to the huge amount of data yes now we almost done the almost all the commands in script mode let's check it out we have remaining commands also there here let's happening if you are having the data in a two multiple files with respect to suppose uh, as, as possible we are checking with the join operation in the pig we have however we are performing this sql if you want to add the two tables means we based on by based on the some criteria we have to use the join here also we have a join transformation in peak to add the both both contents let's check it out here if you want to add these things means we have to write two log files two data suppose i am adding the content suppose previously we have seen we have the one file is there right that is pig ip dot txt yes this is like this only i have some more data let me create nano pig ip 2 dot txt abc mnp x y z okay let's take for abc the delimiter is tab space fine abc and previously we have name marks and gender now check it out name and location let's check it out one guy is from india second guy is from usa third guy is from uk let's save this file i want to add both the files pigip.txt and pigip.pigip2.txt 
let's check the content one more time i want to add both the things i need output like abc 65 m and india like this i want here here in the first file we have three attributes in the second file we have two attributes by combining i am expecting four attributes let's check it out how the how we are achieving these things in a pic script fine let's write with the commands let's go in a interactive mode only you can easily get the error haha <laughs> yes i am in local mode the file is also there in local mode only pig ip and pig ip for the first of all we have to load the data yes load pig we already have the commands right let's check it out yes this thing is pig ip.txt using pig storage name marks gender exactly and like this only we need one more variable that variable name is b and i want to load pig ip 2.txt fine here we have na pig ip 2.txt using the now that now tell me that here is previously in the previous case the delimiter is colon for that purpose i am using pig storage colon but now the delimiter is tab space we have to use same thing the delimiter which we have to mention in the pic storage is slash t and here we have name and location the name is there we have location instead of marks and all we have location which is also normally character array remember guys this is how you can load the variables into a pig command pig environment now it's time to perform the join now check it out we are performing the some variables is simple i want to perform simple join normal join suppose the variable is you can create it simple join sj join what are things i want to join a and b join a with respect to the name and we have to keep the comma b by name fine like this we have to perform yes we are performing we want to join a and b with respect to the name attribute and here let's dump the things let's whether we are getting or not dump yes j abc name some marks gender name marks it 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 joins the all the things if you want only four means we have to filter it fine how you can do it here itself in the script itself now in csj we have all the things now we want only name marks gender and location like this you can fetch it fine i hope you guys understand how to work with the join here if is something if you, we already left some content right the actual location we also have the where is the actual location actual data let's try to read that with the actual data may have the accessing of a data also if you want to perform we can also perform left and right like this also perform left right or left out or join like this or perform na like this also we can perform it let's take it out left out of join same thing here join a by b and here we have to clearly mention left remember guys this is most important as part of the left outer and right outer join now you can dump it 
you can surely get the difference. See, for ASD there is no name and location in the peak split, in the in other script. Fine. For that purpose, previously in the normal join we skipped this. ASD, ASD is not printed. You can check it out. Fine. But now we got that. Why means we are expecting left outer join also. In the left side, what are the access points are there also? We are able to print it. Fine. Like this, we can perform the left outer perform and if you want right also you can perform in the place of left you can keep the right but I hope we didn't use the we don't have the access data in the right hand side script which is b b data in the nothing but pig ip2 dot txt the same output whether whatever but if you suppose if you have the some other name here is there as the location of fast area with the other name with the pqr data means we may expect that we may get that fine after follow for after following this we have full outer join also before going to full outer join let's add some data into the right hand side also for better understanding you you people know you people want to know right whether i can get the right also let's quit from this pqr Actually, the PQR data is not available in the PIC script 1. And I want to keep the location. Always try to check the data whether your data is saved or not. Now execute it. Again, we have to execute pick command please. Again, we have to come back to the our pick environment. Again, we have to load it. Why means we are doing some changes. Nothing will be there. After A and B, I want to perform. Let's track it. Simple join. We already seen simple join, right? Yes. Let's keep right right hand side. Now you can say get right hand side access that PQR AU for PQR there is no right hand information. Let's execute full outer join. In place of right we have to keep full. Let's check it out. These are the left access data, right hand side access data. As a full outer join is a mixture of left outer join and right outer join. I hope you understand better. Better, uh, I think you have to do all these things as a practical if you want to get the better understanding on these things. Okay, this is the join. Let's move to the. Suppose as part of the we, we have loaded the file. Yes, this is the actual file information. I want to perform is actually if you see the data means it is a normal file content, right? I want to divide into a small number of tokens. 
suppose let's dump it first of all what it will return yes like this i got it right fine i want to make this as a as a normal tokens i want to divide entire thing in a small number of tokens or else based on the slash n something like based on the, you want to divide into a number of store let's check it out first of all what is the key to usage of tokenize we have done that loading yes for each a we have to generate some kind of output what 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 we are expecting is i want to divide each row into in terms of tokens small number of words suppose this is entire if you call this entire a string means then if you want to divide how you can perform all these things check it out we have to use generate and the simple keyword transformation is tokenize fine here you want to tokenize what kind of data based on the names here i am getting all the names with respect to the tokens fine if you want to see more thing means let's change the ping storage as suppose let me read the entire thing as a one string suppose this is actual data right so sometimes we may get the different different kinds of request from the client suppose this is the actual data right a b c colon 65 in place of here i am getting comma in place actually the actual data may consist colon if you want to read those data information as a string and i want to divide it to a small number of tokens words for that purpose what we have to do it let me take the entire data in terms of suppose let's take the entire string as a single line and i don't want to take so to uh, other rows i want to take entire string as a one line that's all let's check it out if you want to better understand what i am doing is i want to take entire thing as a one attribute fine now i want to divide into a small number of tokens with respect to the line see here we have here it is the entire thing it is we are taking as a small number of tokens as the tokenizes it will take the space as a default input value okay we have to make the thing as a default based on the delimiter we have to perform the things fine now check it out more thing about the difference between normal output and tokenized output everything we are making as a normal variable okay here again i am taking the line as a the entire line as a one character means the entire thing it will be taken as a one token instead of taking it, it is a colon as a delimiter if you take colon means it will take the abc as a one token 65 as a one token m as a one token fine the main purpose of this token is if you want to divide the divide entire token into a entire string it is small number of tokens we have based on the delimiter means we have to use the tokenize concept this was the, the tokenize transform it okay let's take a normal only as the pick storage i want to take the delimiter as colon only i want to perform name marks gender fine suppose some way i i have done the sum of the group by in some for for, for for special purpose i have done the group by operation how you can perform the group by group a by any common attribute gender fine like this i have done it 
but if you do like this means what how i can expect the output i am getting the output in the part of in terms of curly braces this is the, like this right this is one group this is one group i am like this i am getting right i don't want to get like this i want in a special format if you want to distribute this as a individual tokens here we have some groups right if you want to distribute the entire things means we have to use the command or transformation called flatten actually this kind of outputs we are saying in terms of hadoop technology is it's a nested outputs normal also we are in the programming language we are saying as a nested outputs if you want to unnest these kind of nested outputs means we have to use the transformation flatten let's check it out now i don't want to print the things i want to do the flatten if you want to use for flatten also again we have to use for each b we have to generate flatten here don't forget to give you as the flatten output we have to give the base command as the actual data stores it is not the group by output you call it right females 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 and remaining males previously we got the nested output now check it out what is the difference between nested and unnested see here as i want to divide into two number of loops female and male it is taken as a nested output as the key and value type it is a key is a female and this entire things as a values like key and value type we are getting the nested output but here i want i don't want to like this i am expecting only all that actual data in respect to the unnested format for that purpose itself what we am doing on top of group by i am performing a flatten fine for that purpose itself i got the output is like this all female outputs and then i got a male kind of outputs here i am getting duplicates also if you want to avoid these duplications means again we have to perform distinct distinct will it transformation is it is used to avoid the duplications fine this is what about entire flatten and we are using lot of things right if you want to check it out how the group by is perform how the things will be performing so we have some of the diagnostics stick para operators that is let's describe we have describe command is there which is used to specify a how to explain suppose these things the describe will take the review entire review about schema of a relation suppose if you want to know the, what is the schema of a this is the schema of a variable check it out what i am doing here in the a variable i am loading pipip.txt with the column names name kya marks and gender this is what the schema right the same schema we are getting here if you want to get the schema of any variable then we have to get the we have to use the command describe suppose b is maintaining a group by information right or something like a stock and i something like we have to let let's describe the b let's check out what it will come it is coming with respect to the nested format it is the female and remaining it is the entire thing as a group by value fine this is what the schema if you want to know the schema of any one of the variable this is the group by variable if you want anyone ask about to try to fetch the schema of a group by variable means you have to use describe transformation 
or else sometimes we have to need check out the entire procedure of the group by if you want to do like this means we have to use the transformation illustrate is giving a step by step procedure this is the actual marks name marks and gender of any variable but here i am converting into a nested bags nested values nested output. i will tell you here we have bag data pool kind of things are there right the next immediate concept is knowing about the data types of peak i will tell you what is bag tuple and all fine this about the illustration of any execution like this this kind of data x y z y s t this kind of two rows will be we are made as a one single row single tuple let's check it out other than this diagnostic operators we have x plane is also there you only tell me that the main key main inter level of explain is to give the high level design of map reduce execution like to if you want to check the physical and execution and logical execution plans if you want to perform group by we have to maintain some of the things right what is the what are things we have to take in how it is performing the things okay from where it is performing everything every information we are getting in with respect to the suppose in sometimes we are doing the casting everything will be you can get it out by using explain here explain and illustrate describe all these three commands we are saying as a diagnostic built-in operators fine these are the major built-in operators we have some more debugging operators also so we sometimes we are calling it with respect to that by including dump mm -hmm. 